All right, so in this problem, we have a expression, a formula, and it is a linear expression. And we want to figure out which of the following statements is true for this specific formula. Now, because this is a linear function, let's find two points and plot them on our graph. Let's pick one point when x equals 0 and our second point where y equals 0. Now, when x equals 0, let's plug in 0, 0.5y plus 6. Now, we'll subtract 6 on both sides and we'll get negative 6 equals 0.5y. Now we'll divide by 0.5 on both sides and we'll get y to equal a negative 12. So our first point is 0, negative 12 and let's plot that right over here on our graph. Now let's take a look at our second point when y equals 0. When y equals 0 we have x equals 0 0.5 times 0 plus 6. Now when we simplify we get x to equal 6. So let's also graph this point right over here and connect our two points to see what our line looks like. All right, now let's take a look at our statements. When the value of y is greater than negative 6, x is positive. Now let's take a look where y equals negative 6, that's right over here. And when the value of y is greater than negative 6, all the values of x are positive, and that is true. We see that the entire time that, that the y is greater than negative 6, all the x values are positive. Therefore, a is correct. Let's take a look at why b, c, and d are incorrect. b states, when the value of y is lower than negative 6, x is negative. Well, that means this region right over here, when y is lower than negative 6. And x is also in, in the negative realm, but it also is in the positive realm right over here. So that is incorrect to say that x is negative because it does appear in the positive and negative realm. So b is incorrect. When the value of y is greater than negative 12, x is negative. Let's take a look at y equals negative 12. And when y is greater than negative 12, x is in the positive realm. This is where the cutoff is. And above negative 12, all the x are positive, and below is when they are negative. Therefore, c is incorrect. And d states, when the value of y is lower than negative 12, x is positive. This is the opposite. When y is lower than negative 12, all the x values are negative. Therefore, d is also incorrect, and our final answer will be a.